Uh, yeah, the Igbo youth has called for the arrest of uh, Ebube Agu. Mm, you know, uh, Ab- you know Ebube Agu. Yes, definitely. You should know. Yes, uh, uh, the coalition of the uh, South is a uh, youth leaders. Kusil uh, has uh, called for uh, the arrest of mm, Ebube Agu. Security outfit uh, describing its uh, actions as wicked and uh, barbaric, uh, while condemning the overzealousness of uh, the security. Apparatus, yes, I'll say it's expressed a displeasure on the jungle justice on a suspect. Yes, Nigerians can now, uh, you know, know they are left from the right uh, just because we already uh, have uh, eye openers. <laughs> well, I can see the uh, president uh, general uh, good luck, Ibim, in a statement in a way. Uh, yesterday said that uh, we are not uh, in stone age where anyone or persons uh, will uh, wake up one morning accuse someone of uh, being a criminal and kill uh, the said uh, person uh, we are in 21st century for crying out loud uh, the 21st century where uh, we have a, a rule of law and the constitution guiding uh, the people and government activities as uh, regards to governance and that is what it is and therefore uh, Ibu Biagu, i would say yes mm, the Ibu Biagu security outfit or operatives uh, to just wake up and start uh, killing Igbo youth uh, in whatever guys uh, is uh, totally unacceptable. Yes, it's unacceptable, totally unacceptable. And most of the houses uh, in the affected communities have been uh, burnt down and also destroyed. Uh, while the few persons uh, who escaped their uh, being killed have run away, uh, leaving those uh, communities empty. Uh, those towns are now ghost uh, communities. Uh, one of the uh, disturbing incidences uh, was a situation. Uh, it was a situation where a woman uh, received a machete uh, caught in her head. Wow, this is uh, very, very appalling. Received machete caught in her head. Uh, a woman, for that matter, but I don't know why. I don't just know why. There are uh, genocide, internal genocide, internal marginal- marginalization, even in, uh, in, in the southeastern states or in Igbo land. That is why those uh, youth and uh, the most uh, populated uh, member or persons in Biafra are the youth. That is it. We are the youth. Yes, uh, as it has been said that one of the uh, disturbing uh, incidences was a situation where a woman uh, received a machete. Uh, it, she received machete caught in her head, and uh, and also uh, in her hand and other. Uh, parts of a uh, body uh, because of our inability uh, to provide uh, our husband or third uh, the Ibubiagu operatives uh, where our husband went to. Is that not a uh, uh, how would I put it? Wizardry <laughs> and wickedness and also I believe that uh, those that are you know employed or rather that volunteer to become a Ibubiagu members or security uh, personnel and say uh, political by God. Uh, by God, and I will say the uh, I don't I don't think they are fellow egos because a, an ego man or a, a fellow ego will not kill uh, the other person, even if they are given money, they will definitely you know still betray their paymasters. Uh, this is a uh, unbecoming of, of a sane uh, society. Indigo uh, and indigo must rise and uh, condemn uh, in its entirety uh, this. Uh, despicable act by this uh, so called Republic uh, Security Operatives. Uh, the cause uh, remain uh, the last arbiter, uh, and no one has the constitutional right or powers definitely to take the life of another person, another man, and uh, uh, kill your fellow neighbor at will. It's not right, it's not done. Uh, if uh, anyone is arrested on uh, a suspicion of uh, being a, a criminal, he or she uh, definitely should be taken to court. That is it. He or she should be taken to court. And uh, let's court lay its verdict. And that is what it is. Uh, the person should be taken to court for the court also uh, to, you know, uh, give their own trial, a trial such, uh, uh, such as it is amended in the Constitution. And that kind of person uh, should be tried, and uh, if uh, guilty, uh, definitely. And then court will still, you know, uh, tamper justice with mercy, or rather, uh, the person will face the wrath of the law. And I believe the law of man is different from the law of God. But as it is, if uh, we are connected to God, uh, the law of God uh, will also be the law of man. Uh, but uh, 
it is very very unlawful and a criminal act of torture uh, a man or kill anyone on the premise of being uh, a criminal mm, yes uh, houses and properties uh, that were destroyed in those uh, communities uh, which cause it gives such others no why these operatives just assumed uh, the duties of the uh, court and uh, went ahead uh, to destroy uh, people's home and their uh, assets uh, without a uh, recourse to the law of the land. Uh, too sad and too bad. Uh, that's very, very sad and bad. Hmm. Uh, we want uh, the Ibubiago, the those Ibubiago uh, security operatives uh, to fought uh, fought with uh, the extrajudicial uh, killings now. And we demand those uh, found uh, culpable of uh, extrajudicial killings in Imo State, uh, and they should be made to face uh, the music. Hmm. Ibim have uh, still said, uh, oh, see, uh, the youth don't invest. Uh, for them to be keeping quiet now and not saying anything does not really mean uh, that answers. Uh, he is not uh, still ringing bell in their mind or the massacre of the answers. Uh, I don't think uh, they don't know what they are doing. Uh, the youth, Nigerian youth, are, are the most dangerous uh, when it comes to hmm, when it comes to anger or you know decision. That is what it is. Also, if uh, the federal government or rather the state government and uh, those that are acting with impunity, I uh, think uh, they are uh, doing themselves good or favor. Yes, but in other words, they should do themselves favor by retrogressing, apologizing, or rather dialogue, acknowledge. Your, your your atrocities uh, because so many things and so many fingers so many handwriting has been written on the wall you know pointing at uh, hope uzodima and uh, just because you still have the power of equivalency mm. nigerians or uh, rather i'll say the igbos the igbo youth are uh, watching with hd camera uh, there's no way there's going to be any massacre again everybody now has uh, their own camera before you know they have shown you your footage before you know they have shown you your footage if you like, go down like it or get go off the light again or off the camera <laughs> or your uh, because uh, the, the, the youth already know what they want and what they can do. But let the power of equivalency let it met first because 2023, that's why some persons will say, Ah, be like election, no good. No, be say, be like there won't be election because there are violations of human rights, you know, genocide, marginalization, and nepotism. So many atrocities that have been committed by Buhari and his co op uh, whether you like it or not, Buhari, you know, uh, has not really done well. That is a scope. But it's not even a scope. That is a fact. Buhari has not really done well. That's why Nigeria is uh, deteriorating every day. And now, as it is, Nigeria don't jeopardize already. Uh, no be the citizen, I call some. Uh, Buhari and a co They don't know how to manage the country. Is, it, is this how to manage the country? You clamor for a uh, post or leadership role. <laughs> but... Uh, you don't know anything concerning leadership role. Even your own immediate uh, family, uh, I don't think you are. You are. Uh, you you are. You're capable. I don't think so. I don't think so. You're capable to handle your wife, your children, and your extended family. Just you know that little uh, chain of uh, you know people or family. So uh, let's know that uh, the Nigeria that we are now. Truly, those that said Nigeria is a contraption, uh, they have said it very well and there is no mincing word. Well, that is what I'm going to do. I'd like you to share your views in the comment section. Thanks for listening and God bless you.